I'm about to smash you so hard. You don't, you don't need a judge. Oh, yeah, I mean, North is spitting. All right. The topic is just, um, would you like to choose a specific character? Or would you like to make it extend to, like, our devil's saying, light speed? I'm just saying, like, the verse in general has light speed scaling that would scale to, like, the high tiers. It's like okay. Chainsaw Man, Makima. Yeah, I I'm fine with that claim. Yeah, I'll take the opposition that that is not the case. Okay, so should I start with my uh, arguments? Yes, that would be that would be a lot easier for the viewers to digest. Okay, so uh, the beginning of my arguments uh, for this to work, I have to uh, prove the following: that devils scale to their embodiments. Do you um, disagree? I think you're, what you're trying to say is that devils like. One, devils embody their, their concept or characteristic. Yeah. But I don't think that's the only thing you need to prove. I think you need to prove that devils embody their concept or characteristic, right? Yeah, and, that's what I'm and saying. And by embodying that characteristic, they share all properties with it. Yeah. They either share all properties or most properties as long as they're within their devil form. Uh, I mean, most all properties, properties wouldn't with, cover... But all properties, all properties as long as they're within their devil form, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's fine. So would you like to okay, go about proving then. that? Yeah, so uh, when, and spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen this since it was being recorded, when Makima states to Kishibi, I think that's his name, uh, about how Chainsaw Man's powers works is she says that whenever he eats them, whatever they embody or their name is erased from existence and history altogether. So, like, the nuke devil or the Nazi devil and what they embodied erased completely. Yeah, d okay. I, I agree with that, right? That they're, they're tied to their name. But Makima in Chapter 6 says, and I quote, All devils are born with a name. The more that name is feared, the more powerful the devil itself, right? Yes. Coffee has no scary mental energy image whatsoever. If there was a coffee devil, it would probably be weak. But what if there was a car devil that, that conjures up the mental image of getting run over and dying? So that might be strong. Denji can turn into a chainsaw devil, right? Yeah. That, that's what she says in chapter 6. So, the issue with this is... This means that there's not, like, while there is a tie, what the devils are made up of is rather the fear of the concept instead of the concept itself. Okay, so I'm going to go about approving uh, my position here. So specifically, uh, I'm going to use the ex uh, example of the darkness devil. The darkness devil shows properties of darkness being uh, its power doesn't exist in the light. When the dull devil was given a fraction of its power, uh, its powers disappeared in the light, but fully manifested when it was in the dark. Do you okay. any scans of that? The, the, no, I, I remember that. That just means that their power, okay. their power can have contingent ideals, right? Or have the same weaknesses. And that could just be an extension of the fear. There's no fear of the darkness in the light, is there? Uh, I think this is about the physical manifestation of light rather than a metaphysical idea of the fear. Well, the devil's power comes from the metaphysical me metaphysical idea. It doesn't come from, like, the, the existence of it. It comes from the existence of the fear of the idea. Like, y'all want this debate in Malice or not? Go for it, actually. Wait, wait, let me let me read this real quick because I specifically staged it for the debate. I literally just have like two counters thought up, and then I took a look at the wiki to like see um, to see if there's evidence for the counters, and it seems to be the case. I think about that. Uh, is there any other versions? I can think of. 
Uh, so, like, Beam is the shark devil, and he takes on the properties of being able to swim through everything. Well, yes. that'd be more uh, of a I, metaphysical idea, wouldn't it? I understand, and I agree that these people can enact some of the properties, right? Uh Another property, or there are properties that these people do not enact, though, right? Like, the darkness devil can be touched. Darkness is not physical, therefore it cannot be touched. So while, yes, there are properties that they share with their idea, or their name, or the concept of their name, right? Wait, when was the darkness devil touched? The darkness devil was eliminated. Yeah, well, no, it wasn't. Um, all that happened was, Makima sent, uh, sent her, like invisible blast thing and then it attacked back and then makima warped everyone away oh i didn't recall that i thought it, i thought it was defeated no it wasn't defeated it was just escaped N uh, no one ever actually touched the darkness devil i I, I, apologize then. Uh, I apologize then i apologize then that's fine yeah uh I, if okay, you need so another like, example of them not sharing if you need another example no, no, of them fine. not sharing the properties like we can so go I'm in. Gonna drop, I'm gonna drop the uh, point of all properties, but I'm, uh, seeing that it seems you do agree that they can have some properties, right? Yeah, they can share. They can share properties. Like, okay, so but, but there are issues with this as well. Like power in her devil form is not liquid, right? And it, they obviously don't share all properties. I think as long as you I mean, like, as long as you agree to that, it's fine. Uh. Yeah, sure, I'll agree to that for right now. Okay. Uh, well, for this debate, I'll say. I'll have to research this later. But anyhow, so I'm going to go into the next point. Well, I mean, the uh, tomato uh, devil has, like, eyes and legs. It's not just a fucking tomato. Yeah. <laughs> anyhow, about the uh, fucking darkness. Well, maybe tomatoes just normally have uh, eyes and legs in the Chainsaw Man universe. I think we've... I guess we could go for different devils, right? Like, obviously, but, uh, blood is a liquid yeah. in the Chainsaw Man universe, right? And yet, I mean, Powers, was, uh, Powers' devil form has mass. Or, um, is, like, is clearly a solid. Uh, maybe. Well, because she was able to physically exist within Makima's blood and manipulate that, too. Yeah, but she can. I don't know can. how far that extends <laughs> to her physical ability. But, like no, I said, I'm I think, dropping this. Yeah, I think you understand what I'm saying. Anyhow. That's fine. Yeah, That's I get fine. what you're saying. Okay, so specifically, I'm going to move on to the example of the darkness devil, and if the dark de devil embodies darkness. So do you want to, do you contend that he embodies darkness in general? Or... I, I don't think that there's any evidence that he has this, like, full embodiment of darkness. Because no. if you're trying so to say I... because he's the devil of darkness, he has all properties of darkness, right? Or the, even, yeah, that he's, said, even that he's the, the embodiment of darkness... That, that, that isn't shown to be the case. It's shown to be these people gain power based off of the fear of their name. Or these devils gain power based off the fear of their name. That doesn't correlate to an embodiment. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I blinked out there. So basically you're saying... Uh, well, did you did you see the scan that I posted? Like, um, when yeah, Maki yeah, was I, talking I, to I, Aki? I know that specifically. Okay, yeah. I, um, basically... What I'm saying is, if you reduce what the knowledge that we have, what we know of the devils, it's not that they're embodiments of what they um of their name, but rather that these devils are very simply just things whose power correlates to the fear of an entity or an idea. Okay. Um, yeah. So. I but if I do prove that the darkness devil embodies the darkness, that's like something we have contention on, right? I mean, yeah, if you if you somehow find a way to prove that the darkness devil is this one exception that is the conceptual embodiment of its idea, while all other devils that we've seen just share properties and gain power from the fear of their idea, oh, man, I mean, go one for thing it. thing that I could say specifically might be a difference is the fact that the darkness devil is the is only one we've seen. Yeah, as a primal being and uh, one that's specifically from hell and not uh, the real world. Well, you know, you know how He's the being... cycle of devils goes, right? Yeah, I know. They go from hell to the real world, but we've mm -hmm. never seen other, any other devils in hell specifically besides the ones that were as fiend forms. 
But anyhow, I mean, the the so. fiend forms are just humans consuming the devils, right? Yeah, or making yeah, an abstract concept. Devil forms. But the devils are still inside of the humans and can come out. Yeah, but they're using their physical bodies of the humans. Do you think that this is some sort of, like, restriction? I mean, it, well, yeah, I definitely think it's a restriction. Like, look at Power's so? uh, power. When Power went back to being the, the her, like, devil form, um, kind of like how Denji has the hybrid form, she became way stronger and was able to resist uh, Makima's control, even though Makima's previously thought lesser of her. Hadn't she, like, consumed Pochita at this point? Uh, No. No, she could you show me that away. then? I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's like near the end, Donnie House. So I, I only, I only remember her going into her like um fiend form, or her her like full devil form, after like power as an entity had died and then consumed Pochita to be resurrected. I mean, that would imply that power would have had to have the will to resist Makima for that to even work, anyhow. But I think that's in like the last three chapters, so I'm checking that. What, no, that would be... It's not the last three chapters. The last three chapters two, is just one chapters, long fucking yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the fight. I think it's around chapter 92. Then. I'm guessing official translations don't matter for this, considering it's just the visuals. Yeah, that should be fun. Because I was about to say, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, buy this for a debate. No, if I have some... If we, if we get into some issue of translation or, like, kanji, I'll just go to the chapter myself. I have this. Okay. Okay, so her whole thing starts at chapter 90. And that's what I'm checking for right now. I, like, found this really odd panel where I can't tell what's going on. I'm going to ping you right next to it. It seems as though what's actually happening is, like, Denji's attacking the Darkness Devil. But it also seems as though Denji's not making contact. So, I don't know. Yeah, Denji tried, and then the Darkness Devil just blocked the Darkness itself before Denji got close enough. So, so he materialized the Darkness? Yeah, he, like, solidized the Darkness for whatever or maybe maybe what it was was he's able to control the darkness inside people's bodies so maybe he's just like doing something similar where it's like telepathic darkness or something like but something something like telekinesis not physiology yeah some something like telekinesis like what makima does but it's darkness based i mean i guess it would depend on how on how that interaction took place because okay, if, uh, if it took happened? place as what you originally proposed, that's obviously an issue. Um, if it took place as how you proposed later, that that's not so much an issue. Wait, what? What proposed? Um, originally you proposed like, oh, well, he blocked with darkness, right? Yeah. And that would that would be a materialization. Well, saying, that would be a materialization of the immaterial, which would contradict um the idea that you set forth. I'm just saying, like, hypotheticals of what it could be. It's not really explained in yeah. either way. Okay, so what happens in this chapter is uh, power within Denji's blood is awakened by Puchiana, but there's nothing saying that she actually absorbed it because she actually grabbed uh, the Chainsaw Man body to try running away with to preserve Denji. So Denji would still be the physical body there. It's just Puchiana woke her up while she was as a. You're talking about the form. Pokemon. The the poke the poke the what? You called Puchita Puchiana. It's a small distinction, but Puchiana is Puchiana is yeah, yeah, the fucking right. dark fire type Pokemon. You, you're right. You're right. My bad. You talking about you talking about this bad boy? Let me let me post him. Well, well it's it's uh, it's not my fault that Pokemon is like the best thing ever. <laughs> Puchita. Um. I'm, oh yeah. Okay. So uh, when I still don't I don't I still don't see that how this like leads to the conclusion Darkness Devil is the conceptual embodiment of darkness. 
Why did we get on this point specifically? I don't remember. I don't think it matters anymore. It's fine. Oh, okay. What was the point of this? And you I were trying to prove you were trying to prove the idea of um Darkness Devil is conceptual. Oh um, no 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 I, I was saying that uh fiends get uh stronger in their like in their primal form actual demon form. In their demon well this that wouldn't be a primal form, but in their like demon form. Oh, yeah, th I think that's fine. That fiends are okay. stronger in their demon form. Um Okay, so anyhow, I, I don't... the Darkness Devil, uh, you already agreed with earlier that the Darkness Devil exists as darkness when he's affected by the power of light, he gets weaker. And I, I don't know if he not... exists as, I just think, like, the idea of him sharing this property, that he is not able to exist within the light, I, I don't see how that inherently correlates to anything. Because that, that's all that yeah. I see, right? He's not able to exist or draw his power within the light because there is no darkness. I don't, I don't see an issue there. Well, yeah, that would mean he's affected by the light like darkness is. Yeah. Or his power is specifically. Yeah, that's cool with me. Okay, so that would be a property of darkness specifically because he's the darkness devil. Um, it is a property of darkness. I don't, I don't know how the rest of that plays into anything not not okay. the the non-existence in light is a property of darkness seeing as darkness yes. is the absence of light yes so that would show that he has properties of darkness yes and as do all other all, as do all other devils and fiends actually but this is the specific property of darkness that would be using the scale for speed as the uh, absence of light property. And why do you believe that, like, why do you believe that darkness moving in the absence of light moves it to faster than light, or correlates to faster than light speeds? Uh, so it's at least as fast as light as it would be as fast as the natural moving phenomenon. In the why example, is that the case? In the example of light, because, as I said, it's the absence of light it comes when light is no longer there. So it would have to be at least as fast as light, and then Makima blitzed it. You keep saying that shadows are as fast as light. I don't understand as to why. Because it's the absence of light. It would have to be at least as fast as... You're saying you would have to keep up? Anymore. Yeah. Okay. So, if a shadow is the absence of light, right? Yeah. We, we agree to that. I move my hand forward, thus blocking the light. Yes. The light is still bouncing off of the object as I move my hand forward until light is no longer hitting the object. Yes. Okay. How does this correlate to the shadow being the same speed as light? Because it has to manifest at the same speed that light is no longer there. It manifests due to a lack of light. It doesn't have yes. to manifest anything. Well, yeah, it manifests due to a lack of light. The shadow is there because there's no longer light shining this place. Okay. You understand that shadows are perpetually there, right? There's degrees of shadows. Well. Sh shadows are perpetually present, right? Think about it like this. You just need to unlock yeah. them. By blocking the light, right? To a certain degree, there, yeah. there is no movement that a shadow makes. Okay, so it would have to be at least as fast as light, the natural phenomenon that You just keep shadows. saying that, but light isn't the phenomenon that causes shadows. It's blocking of light, right? Yes. Okay. So I, I, think, I think I've done enough. Form. I think I've done enough to distinguish as to why. This does not lead to the conclusion you choose it to, right? Okay. But, I mean, I but just, let's go elsewhere because it's fine. Have, yeah. That's fine. I, I have one last part of the scaling for me. Oh, okay. Because okay, I think so I think only, you I think you scaling is... to equivalent to light, right? Or even the darkness devil scaling to equivalent to light um, fulfills your burden of proof to fulfill your premise. If you're trying to like further fulfill your premise, I'm saying you don't have to. 
Uh, well, I just want to get this last point out because I want to see if okay. you actually disagree. On. Uh, so, assuming my point's right, not saying you have to actually agree. Uh, okay. The next, it would be Makima is faster. Do you disagree or... or... Faster than the Darkness Devil? Yeah. No. It, like, destroyed her fucking arm in point two seconds flat. Uh, okay, uh, so I'm going to send a scan of scans right now where the, of when they fought. Yeah. It, it's an odd fight, but it, it seems to me as though Makima is, like, at its will for the most part. Not Let me go really. find it. So this is, like... Well, here, I just sent this. Is this before or after she breaks her finger? This is this is during the uh, the part where she breaks her finger. Like, okay. she comes in, they point at each other, and then they use their attacks. Her finger breaks, and then it loses half its body in the same time. Her finger breaks, and it loses half its body? Yeah. I sent it in scans. Are you are you trying to say that like Makima's actively attacking it? Yeah, well, she quite literally actively attacked it. Okay, there. and how so? She's got invisible blasts. Invisible blasts. Is it privy to these blasts? And where is that? Where is that stated? I'm sorry. Th these invisible blasts. Uh, that's uh, specifically. I don't know if it's specifically stated, but it's shown all throughout, and especially during the Chainsaw Man fight. Where she goes, bang. oh, you remember her? Uh, half I, I do thing not. Where she goes I do bang. not. Just, I would just ask you to show me, because what oh, I yeah. always thought it was was that it was a, Makima <coughs> had a, some sort of quid pro quo ability, by which she well, was able to inflict damage by taking damage. Whenever she, uh. No, because she does. The, or I'll, I'll show you specifically against the chainsaw. Man. Yeah, I'm just saying this but, is what I this is what I thought to be the case. I'm fine being yeah. wrong. I, I'm gonna she, I'm gonna look at really missing that, out on like two of the best moments because like, uh, there's the chainsaw man fight where oh, this is missing chapters, isn't it? Uh, da, 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 da. I just skip chapters? I you don't remember, because, like, you know what Happy Birthday is in reference to, right? Uh, Chainsaw Man's birth? No. No, Denji's literal birthday. Oh. I don't remember. Remember when she opens I, the door? You're gonna ask me if I remember, and the answer is just gonna be no. Come on! Are you even a Chainsaw Man fan at all? Not at the end. Nope. Not, nope. Why? Why? Lame lame okay uh, uh so the fight the fight is uh chapter 88 and i should send yeah, just post it in scan. Scan. this is yeah. odd i'm looking through the wiki and apparently makima uses this ability at chapter 33 66 and 81 and that's it yeah she specifically says bang here which the only difference between the Darkness Devil fight is that she doesn't specifically say bang, but it's the same exact finger movement. Because she just po points her finger at her target and goes bang. And it's just like what she did to the Darkness Devil, where she pointed her finger at it, and then it got hit by some invisible force. You see it in scan chat right now? Yeah, I'm trying to find what I was talking about. This doesn't, this seems to have, like, a different, like, I'm sorry, what, what is our, what is our reasoning for saying this is the same ability? I'm very confused. Uh, it's the same exact hand gesture. And then we don't see the attack, what hat, uh, physically hits the darkness devil, just that his lower half is destroyed. Which would imply some This seems of... like, okay. One, this is not the same hand gesture. It is. It's, it's the same ge hand gesture as when she kills power, right? Yeah, yeah. Again, that, but yeah, yes, see, that that's not that's not the same. No, just because I came across it, it's not the oh. same hand gesture. 
The one she uses to kill power in, in this instance, she has her thumb out. And it's like, it's uh, more so a gun. I mean, it seems look, yeah, it seems if you, different, if you ask me. If you, if you look at the ones during the Chainsaw Man thing, though, she doesn't have her thumb out. She just has her finger out. And just like at the Darkness Devil. I'm guessing the exact hand gesture probably doesn't matter. It's probably more just like the idea of pointing at her opponent. Because, like you said, during the Power One, she has her thumb out. During the Chainsaw Man, she doesn't. And during what she did to the Darkness Devil, she just has a finger out with Chainsaw Man fight. Ugh. So. Uh. So why does this scale Makima? Um, just that, that's that what I was getting to. Sorry, sorry. That's what Devil. that's what I was getting to. Um, I mean, can the Darkness Devil see or sense this attack in any way, shape, or form? I mean, the Darkness Devil and the Mikima want to for the attack at the same time. Okay, think about it this way, right? Because you're saying they attack at the same time, right? Yeah. Which is fine. If I have a gun and you have a bow and an arrow, right? And you release your you release the string on the arrow the same time I pull the trigger... We attacked at the same time, but one of us got hit first, right? Or yeah. if we flip this situation to, I shoot you, and you shoot me with a, like, I shoot you with a gun, you shoot me with an arrow. The bullet hits the same time that the arrow does, right? That doesn't mean well, that we attacked each other at the same time while we inflicted damage at the same time. Okay, but you can see them readying their attack, and then the next panel is them attacking at the same time. Yes, this only works, right? One, if we've seen someone dodge Makima's blasts, because then you could say, well, they they seem to attack at the same time. Someone's able to dodge this attack that seems to move the speed, the, the, the possible speed of the attacker uh, that may be the speed of light, right? I mean, the attack could be direct to attack, because what Darkness Devil is doing a direct to attack attack. Because he's manipulating the darkness inside her that, body. That's, that's fine. What I'm saying is, there's no way for you to tell that the speed of this attack, or Makima's reaction speed, for for that matter, scale to the, the speed that you were claiming is the speed of light. Well, okay, so you're saying it doesn't scale to the darkness double. There's no way to prove that, no. Uh, I not, don't see why. Not from what's shown in this insane. instance. They have the same exact starting point. They're pointing at each other, and they're both using what seems to be in a direct to uh, contact attack. But okay. Makima only gets her finger bent at the same time that the Darkest Devil has its body cut off completely. Okay. And you can already One, see in the first panel. You don't know when the, the attacks Devil, launched. The blood is flying. Well, we know I that mean, they readied their attacks at similar times. Tim, we know that they readied their attacks at similar times. And that they were inflicted damage at similar times. This does not mean... The handling would mean that it was at the same time, though. Tim, wh where is Makima's attack? It's an invisible attack. Where is the Darkness really Devil's attack? I mean, the Darkness Devil attack is a, uh, manipulating the darkness inside her hand. Mm -hmm. so, so, which attack moved greater in the same amount of time? Uh, Makima's because she shattered his entire body. How, how does that mean that it moved greater? It hit his heads. That's the only place we see damage. Is it hits the five heads of the Darkness Devil. But anyways. Well, no, it takes off its entire lower half. It's only you, its think that it, half that you think that its lower half was shredded off. Yeah, I saw it more so as it falling down. It doesn't matter, right? Let's well, say she like... No, no, no. It, it, it really doesn't matter. Because let's say she blows its lower half off, right? And he just moved her finger to the side. Which attack moved what amount of distance? And in what amount of time? We don't know either starting point. We don't know either ending point. Because we only know when, when damage is shown, right? So we don't know when the attack reached. So how can we dictate the that they're similar time be, spans? The implications would be, one, they attack at the same time because the paneling has them facing at the same exact time. Two that uh 
And uh, by the way, for that first point, I feel like we're going to go into ad nauseum, so I don't think it really matters to debate it anymore. We already disagree. What first for point? For two, for your second, uh, the uh, starting points. For end points, the reason I think that uh, his end point was more than just the finger is because, one, in the uh, next point of the fight, he does break her entire arm, and uh, his end point would have been stops early because she shattered his entire lower half. You're you're not you're not explaining your reasoning. You're giving me what what you feel, right? You're giving me how you, uh, what you what think I is happening. You're not explaining no, but you're not explaining your reasoning for your interpretation. That's what I'm saying. I did. No, all you said is I feel this way because X happens later, or I think it's this because X happens later. Why does that I'm lead to your conclusion? To That's what devils and times. I'm asking you why your evidence leads body. to your conclusion, Tim. My evidence leads to my conclusion. Why does it lead? That yes. What? Why? Because we see that its entire lower half is broken at the same time that the okay, finger. That, that was a circular argument. The panels next to each other. I'm saying, why does your evidence to lead other. to your conclusion? You're saying because my evidence. I'm asking why? Why is it that what we're seeing? Evidence is the fact. Tim, I, Tim, I don't think you're understanding my argument. So please. Please listen carefully. I'm asking you, why does your evidence lead to your conclusion? Why does the fact that his lower half being blown off and Makiba's finger being bent at the same time mean that they attacked and reached each other at the same point in time, right? And you say, well, Makiba scales because later he blow or he rips her arm to shreds. And I say, well, why does that mean that Makiba scales? Yeah. And you're no, saying that's not be, what I said at all. I'm talking yes, about the that, end point. You, you're talking about end points, right? You're saying his end point yeah. was cut short because he later goes in for more. I asked you why, your and point, you said because his legs was, were blown off. Well, so your point was that he was only going for a finger, right? No, I'm asking okay, you why. Then. Why is that his end point, right? You, you said it wasn't, oh, and I'm, I'm asking not, you why. Yeah. Okay. I said the, my reason why is because when he gets the chance later, he goes for way more. He's trying to kill her. Yes, that's it's later. That he he may finally yeah. view her as a threat. There's a million and one reasons why his mindset could have changed as to later. I mean, right? even if you want to say his other examples of people he fought that weren't threats, he did more than this. He like, may not have respect garage. for them. There's a million and one variables, like hypothetical variables, that I could propose okay, that you have no answer for. Possibility, wouldn't it be? It's not an appeal wouldn't to possibility. Be... I'm saying your evidence doesn't lead to your conclusion because there are a million and I'm one things. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You asked me a question. I'm trying to answer your question. You're saying my evidence leads to my conclusion. I'm saying you are foregoing any examination, right? And the, the further examination or these possibilities could mean these alternate interpretations, right? Could mean that your evidence does not lead to your conclusion. So I'm asking yes, you to provide evidence as to why likely. your evidence has to lead to your conclusion. You're saying it's the most likely when you're not providing evidence as to why your, your conclusion is like held up by what you're saying or what's true. Because all other indications of whenever it fights it goes for a killing blow or to at least dismantle its opponent. In this case, it only got to her finger. Okay. So what you're, what you're trying to say is that the next time this happens, he goes for more or he hits more. Yes. I'm hits telling more you, I, I'm, I'm basically asking you, why are the variables the same? If the variables aren't the same, then that variable could lead to a different outcome. Because the only other examples we have of him attacking where the variable are different variables. Okay, but so you I'm can't prove your claim then. Conclusion because the only time we see him only get one finger is when this specific case. Okay. Every other time. So, so then more. you can't prove your claim. You just admitted that there are different variables in the instance that you're trying to use as backup evidence, yes, right? Yes, I'm going with the most... With the most likely possibility why is it the most likely most because likely means time. most represented by evidence right yes every other example he goes for way more to completely but this is not evidence to your claim because you're admitting that there are different variables 
which could lead to a different outcome. Especially You're saying, going to Tim, now. Tim, I'm going to explain very in depth what my argument is, right? You claim Makima's blast is the deciding factor that stops his attack. Yes, because it's the only main variable that's different. But I'm saying that there are other possible variables that could lead to the conclusion and seeing as you have provided no evidence for why it must be your variable, these variables are equally likely and therefore your interpretation falls through. Why would they be equally likely? If because they both have no them. evidence to back them. There is evidence, though, in my variables. Which is? My variables are, in this case, he gets attacked. That's... And in every other case, he's completely dismantled the foe. We're talking about the variables between the two Makima situations. Yes. And between when the finger gets... Okay. So, so the first time, he's ripped apart all these other people. Makima is standing there, right? Sitting right in front of him, right? Okay. They charge up their blasts. No, I, I'm not going to claim, like, who fires first, who ends first. Doesn't matter, right? We've already been over that. A finger gets bent. A, a bottom half gets torn off. They charge up their blasts again, right? Or they get ready to attack again. Well, Makima's arm gets... After, hmm? after she does this, she tries walking. She walks off, and that's when it attacks her again. She's looking right at it. And yeah, she's holding she her arm up to it. Off right after this. After she blows off its bottom half, she walks off after. And yes. attacks her completely. So wh why does that give evidence... That, why does that credence to your idea? Uh, it, it's, it's great It's it, great to be able to correct me on inverse knowledge. But if if it doesn't have bearing on the debate, it doesn't matter. Why does that give credence to your idea, Tim? I've already explained everything. I don't even know what you're asking okay. at this point. Tim, you say the reason as to why he was able to tear off her arm the second time around is because she did not fire a blast at him. Is this correct yeah, or incorrect? Do, yeah, she didn't do anything to stop him the second time. Okay. Or damage him. So, is this the sole changed variable? Is there any other variable that changes? That's the only one that we visually see represented. There are many the other variables visually be... represented. What other visual variables are there? Spencer? Okay, she's turned around. She's in. She's yeah. walking. That's right. That's my point. She's he not he is. Him. Okay, he is fought or he has seen her power. He has grown fed up. He may know who she is. There's a million and one variables that I can I present. Visual. It, it doesn't matter if it's visual. It, all that would matter is that it's within his knowledge. It being a visual variable is completely irrelevant. If it's within our knowledge and within his knowledge, it would be a variable to his decision making. That we can prove is the case. Alright, Spencer. The reason why I think this is because I think that my interpretation has the most accountability for the variables that we can see specifically that we know exist. There's possibilities of different variables, but none of which we can prove. But the pod, the... No, I, I, I presented prove, a variable that we can prove. What? Which was that he had, he had seen her power previously. That, yeah, he just saw her power. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's a variable that we can prove, that he has knowledge I, of, that I we also, have knowledge of. I also provided that every other time he's fought, he don't, he's done the same thing, where he attacks and dismantles entire bodies. Uh, I, I don't see how this is relevant. Because I'm just showing that that's what he in character does normally. And the only time he didn't do it was when he got attacked by Makima in the beginning. See, oh, so you're saying, oh, he goes all out the first time immediately every time. Yes. I mean, it's not like he's never two-pieced somebody. The fucking doll devil, he like tears all her legs off. And then she gets sliced well, in half by Makima. She's still alive. 
Huh? Oh, yeah. That's okay. because he dismantled them. That's why I said he dismantled them. He quite literally, like, here, I'll, I'll show this. Yeah, he I know. He tears all their legs off. I'm looking at the scan right now. Their arms off. Yeah. He, they... he tears off Aki's arms. He tears off the doll devil's legs. We we he don't see at all what he does to the future devil. Limb. We don't see at all what he does to the future devil. It may be arms. Well, no, 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 it's the, arms. It's arms. Even out? Is the future devil even out? The little fucking angel? That's not the future devil. Oh. I thought the angel took people's time away from each other. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's different from the future, but anyhow. That, that's the angel devil, by the way. Oh. Like what I'm saying is, it, it doesn't always it doesn't always finish the job, right? First time. So it's irrelevant. Yeah, but it dismantles them. It dismantles them every time. It didn't get to dismantle Makima this time, but it did the second time. So it starts dismantling Makima even though you claim that they attacked at the first time at the same time? Yeah, it, it's dismantling got interrupted because Makima... Okay, so Makima's attack doesn't scale? No. Her attack scales faster. How would it scale faster if it hit second? I didn't say it hit second. Well, you said that he started dismantling before he got hit. You're saying the hit interrupts Wait, his dismantling. No, no, I'm not saying that. Oh, so the hit... Yeah, I'm saying they happen, at, they happen relative to the same time, but her attack hit faster because it blew up more before it got past her finger. Or the speed at which it dismantles is just different than the speed it moves. Why is it the same speed? That seems like it that seems like a wait, contingent what? entailment that you haven't proven. Wait, wait, what what? Why is the speed that it dismantles and rolls up Makima's body the same as the speed at which it reaches out to Makima? Seems like a contingent entailment that you haven't proven. Wait, I don't understand why those are relevant. Unless it's the, the same speed, the speed, unless it's the, okay, unless the speed at which the attack dismantles Makima, as you claim, is the exact same speed at which the Darkness Devil crosses the void to initiate the attack, then it would be irrelevant. Well, no, because that's not what my claim is about. I'm talking about the attack speed, Spencer. Tim. Tim, 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 Tim. Tim. Tim, congratulations, you now move at the speed of light, alright? Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, so you can run at the speed of light over to a Ford F-150. Okay, Okay. Just one in my driveway. You, you are now going to bend the tire of a Ford F-150, bend the wheel, okay? I don't know why I'd want to do that, but okay. Okay, just because you move at the speed of light, does that mean you are going to bend the, t the wheel of this Ford F-150 at the speed of light? Uh, I guess not. Okay. You now understand what my issue is with you claiming that the Darkness Devil bending Makima's body has to be at a similar speed, or you assuming that it is at a similar or equal speed to its ability to move, right? Saying you won that that point is light speed. Otherwise, this, yeah. this whole point is null. Okay, um... So, I don't think it scales the same way because this is a metaphysical attack that doesn't have to worry about the physical limitations. Huh? Could you pl pl please prove it's that his hacks... Manipulating wait, darkness. Please prove that his hacks have no reliance or resistance due to physical ability. Uh, there would be no other chance that it would ever show that Okay, it so you can't prove it? Literally just completely dismantled everyone. Without, so you can't prove uh, it. Without resistance, it dismantled everyone, even blocking Dungey's chainsaw's attacks completely without resistance. So you can't prove it. No, that is proof. That's that's not proof. That's an argument from ignorance. No, it's proof because at least the way that Makima would scale, because Makima isn't physically way stronger than any of them. So it applies. Why? Because it showed no resistance to anything else that was. Wait, no, no, no. no. Okay, let, let me game. make let me make clear where my contentions are. Right, one, I claim that you made an argument from ignorance. Yes. Because the way that I'm interpreting your argument is 
because there is no resistance shown from any of these other fuckers, right? Yeah. Which she's physically as powerful as. Okay, and then your your counter is, no, she's only as physically powerful as these other fuckers, right? I'm asking for evidence yeah. that she's only as physical powerful as these other fuckers. Okay, uh, so for that, I can just pull up Makima getting shot by bullets, and then I can show, like, Denji slicing uh, buildings. Do you disagree with that? Do I need to go get scans for what, that? Why does her durability have to scale to her AP? Because it's fit. I'm talking about her physical abilities. You can't has slice she, a building. Has she drank blood? Has there been a, a greater control of power between these two instances? Or a greater uh, fear of control, excuse me? I mean, I... I can't you can't prove that there is so i'd say they scale the same either way okay so you're, so you're making another argument from ignorance the idea yeah, that there's no represent excuse me excuse is. me the, the idea that there's no representation of it being the case therefore you're going to disregard that it is the case that's why would it from ignorance. why would it be though spencer i, I don't care it's a contingent okay, so entailment prove that. I, i'm not trying to tim he, here's what you need to understand when you make a claim there's more than just the claim itself that you need to prove in order for you to win the argument, right? You need to prove the evidence that backs that claim. Mm -hmm. And you need to prove the ideas that make that evidence evidence to your claim. So if I say, right, Sasuke is faster than full power Kakashi. And I, I, I show a scan of Sasuke and Kakashi running a race. And someone's okay. like, hmm... Well, why is that Kakashi full power? That is still my burden of proof. That's what we call a contingent entailment. Something that must be proved before your evidence is proof to your claim. Okay, so in this case, for why is Makima the same power, I would just say there's nothing contradicting it. Like, as in... There's that's no an argument for big stated mentions, stated mentions of power-ups. Yeah, that's an argument for big groups. Why would she get stronger if there's no stated mention? Okay, of that's a reversal of the burden of proof to prove your argument from ignorance. That's what Noodles does. I, Don't be Noodles. <laughs> Look, I can only learn from. Do you, you want me to like? Do you want me to like show you why why that argument doesn't work and why it falls into an argument from ignorance? Unironically, yes. Okay. Because I so, really don't understand why it doesn't work. The uh, let me look up logically fallacious. I like them specifically. Um, basically, the argumentative. Hmm. Uh, I said sensei. Oh, the argumentative structure is X is true because X cannot be proved false. Right. Yeah. It, it's what your it's what your parents used a ton of times. Unicorns, oh, unicorns guess, don't exist. To understand this now. Unicorns don't exist because you can't prove that they do exist. Well, that doesn't mean unicorns don't exist. It just means I don't have evidence that unicorns exist. So you're saying Makima didn't get stronger because there's no evidence that she did get stronger. She can get stronger without having without us having evidence to it. Things can happen without us being able to identify that they happened. Okay, I mean, can that not just be flipped on the idea that she did get stronger? If I were blatantly claiming that she got stronger, yeah, you probably could flip it. Okay. I was saying, oh, she, well, she got stronger I get, because... I get you're taking a, neg you're get, taking a negative stance. Yeah, if I was saying she got stronger because nobody says she stays the same strength, right? Uh, okay, thank you, Sensei. But, uh... Yeah, I don't think I can win this point anymore. Okay, so you understand how, how that negates your idea that Makima scales to all these plebs, right? And if Makima doesn't scale to the plebs... Actually... Then actually. the interpretation... Um, then the interpretation that I presented, right, is completely chillin'. It's it's on the same level as yours. What if I prove that she can still get damaged by bullets after this? 
After what? After after this battle. I mean, that'd be fun. I don't think these people have yeah. high. I personally don't think these people have high durability. This is me just making another argument to seal your fate. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I can prove that she doesn't have uh, any higher dur higher durability after this because right I mean, after this, chainsaw yeah, chainsaw like man chainsaw body. man himself can get hit by arrows and get stabbed. So I, I, well, I mean, those are like enhanced, but yeah, enhanced by the power of the devil. Yeah, to be the speed of light. Sure. Mm hmm. So, so the concept of arrows and the concept of light have the same speed. They, they could. This is this is my last argument, by the way. Sorry, this is the argument I've been trying to make that I forgot about. What? Okay, so your idea has an issue, right? You're saying, oh well, he is the darkness devil. He embodies the concept of darkness, and therefore he embodies the speed of darkness. Yeah. Okay. And you agree that Chainsaw Man is over Makima. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, certain versions, but at least... Like pro versions, Prime like Chainsaw, Pre-Hero Chainsaw. Well, I mean, you don't even have to say Pre-Hero. Like, the first fight's unknown, the second fight he's faster. Yeah. Okay. Third fight, I'd say he's slower. Yeah, like, um, like Hybrid Denji versus Chainsaw Man? Yeah, I think he's slower. Um... I think he's just fucking smarter than her. Okay. So we have Chainsaw Man over her. And the same Chainsaw Man is getting stabbed by fucking spears, right? But spears don't have, like, a speed. So that's fine, right? We have oh, him yeah, getting sh we have him getting shot by guns. Getting pierced by arrows, right? But these are by enhanced hybrid weapons. Okay. So what you're saying is... The devils do not have to be, or do not have to share the property of speed with their concept? Not in general, but I was talking about the darkness devil specifically throughout this debate. We already went over this, that they can have some properties, but not have to have all properties. Mm. And so you, you prove, like just, just, just a question, right? Debate. Just a question, because I think we're almost done. I think I've, I think I've done what I needed to, right? <laughs> And you yes. proved that he shared the property of speed how? I th uh, I think I proved that he shared the property of speed because he shared, uh, shared the property of darkness that retracts from light. That's specifically entailed to his uh, idea that dark uh, darkness is as fast as light. Mm. And I think I displayed how, how that falls through, right? Yes. Okay. And what we had said that these primal, right, these devils of hell... Were stronger than their fiend in their um their devil forms in in their on earth, correct? Uh, yeah, sure. I okay. would probably agree with that. Okay, and you understand how the entailment of that destroys your fucking argument? Why? Okay, because if a stronger version of light is comparable in speed, right, or lesser in speed, because you would have um a weaker version, or let me, let me say it like this. A weaker version of a weaker version of a gun, right? A fraction of the gun devil is able to shoot Chainsaw Man. Okay. This same Chainsaw Man who's faster than someone who's faster than something that's equivalent or faster than light. I mean, Chainsaw Man kind of blitzed the Aki the moment he started trying, but yeah, sure. Well, we but can do yeah, bombs too. We can do that. We can I mean, we can do how like we can do how like, Chainsaw Man can get like blitzed by Reese in her bomb form. I mean, he kind of blitzed her when they uh, fought later in the second time, which is the first fight they had was before the Darkness Down the fight. But like if for the no, idea, I'm talking about Chainsaw yeah. Man getting fucking snatched by Reese and picked up by his fucking guts. Oh, okay, that... Well, I mean, I would just say that she was stronger then. Are you, are you trying to say he, like... She's in her full devil form? I, no, I, I don't think this matters, right? Because you still get... Yeah, it, uh, yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter. You still get um, weaker form explosion over Chainsaw Man, over Maki, over stronger form of light. 
Wait, stronger form of light? What do you mean? Or prime, prime light, right? True form of light, whatever. You mean true form of darkness that scales? What, form, whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm okay, talking okay. about. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure. I bet the light devil is not that strong. But there is actually a certain wavelength of light that uh, Chainsaw Man does fight and eats. But uh, anyhow. Okay, I think I properly proved my point there. I, I honestly don't really understand what your point was. Okay, but I was I, saying it's contradictory, right? For you to display that these things share the property, right? Or even that... Well, uh, darkness even if you say, shares the property. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. The, the like darkness shares the property. You have to share the property of actual bombs when it that, comes to Reezy. That's fine, right? We have a weaker thing. You're saying it shares the property of speed... Due to its being in a higher form of devil. I say, well, a weaker form uh, of devil is faster than it, even though it, it what well, I mean, what it like correlates to is slower I, than light. Or slower than darkness Reezy by your idea. Horseman Reezy can just be stronger than darkness devil in general. Okay, and that's an issue. Why? Because if you have horseman Reezy over darkness devil, you have bombs over light. Nah, yeah, those bombs don't have to share the property of actual bombs when it comes to speed. Okay, but the property of sharing speed is something exclusive to higher form devils. Yes. We didn't, I didn't agree to that. I just said specifically for Darkness Devil. Even, actually, I'll give you a multiple examples. world steel man. I'll completely steel man the idea of sharing, sharing all properties, right? And then your yeah, argument you know, still I, falls I apart. I agree with that. It was I something just, that you I presented. With that. Yeah, at the beginning, and we elaborated on why that's wrong. So we continued with why okay. that's wrong. I, I think I proved my point. I don't think I need to go any further. I don't think I need I to push I my goalposts. I mean, I think I won. But in conclusion, you want to say conclusions? Yeah, I think I destroyed every point. I think even if you say I lost a point, I contradicted any point that I lost with my end scaling, right? In any attack attempt to backpedal, right? E even if you take it for granted, you still get this idea that a stronger form of a weaker idea, right? Or a stronger yeah. form of a stronger idea is slower than the weaker form of the weaker idea for the reason of nothing. Okay. Uh, is that it? Yeah. I think I've so... I think I successfully dismantled the arguments. I don't think I need to continue. Okay. Okay, so, uh, in, for my conclusion, in conclusion, happy birthday. Bang. He thought he was cool. Norfie really yeah. thought he was cool. Did he leave with his conclusion? Oh, I was like, what the fuck? Is the recording over now? Did you laugh?